distraction, dogs! <laughs> the of Essex is ours! child with that howling. Unhand me, fiend! Stand what down, will you Saxon gods! The Lady of Essex is ours! safe enough to walk, I think. Aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. 
I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Is my virtue safe with you? It's not in danger, if that's what you mean. Come now, Eivor. You can stand against Alfred's brutes, but you shudder at a maiden's gentle teasing? It is done, and all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if Beerstens will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate! Let's get you some mead! Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. Thunderous I should find Beerston. No doubt he's hunting again. Sword with your father, Yes! <laughs> I am proud of us. We did a good thing for Estrid and her lord. Maybe now we can all be happy. Yes! <laughs> a ruse worthy of the trickster Loki. They're even stolen by us here. Made me feel young again. And I have you to thank. You believe me, though I was a coward. Won't make that mistake again. Yes! <laughs> a ruse worthy of the trickster Loki. They're even stolen by us mere mortals. What lies ahead, I wonder? A new life, or an old life renewed. My old life, Frankia. Mon Dieu, I feel as if I have been sleepwalking these past years, waiting for something to shake me awake. Isn't Rolo the man to shake you awake? He adores you. Rolo's still a boy, with boyish dreams. But he's honest. He could love you if you gave him a chance. It'd be quite a match. Ah, do you not know me better, Eivor? Mon petit coeur est blessé. Come, I am suddenly chilly. Let us join the others by the fire.
Ég eiga að sækja hana afskræmilega völfuna.
bones. Move your bones, you wetland killer! What do you hear them begging, Freddy? Die slow. What do you see, Sunim? No troubles bestir your heart, do they, Percy? All you think of is what next to eat. How I envy you. Beeston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! No time to dally! What are we hunting now? Boar. A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. 
I once knew a strong-armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebolt. How wondrously strange. Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress? Birsten, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance would be worthless. Have no fear. I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lammas, will people there not recognize me? No, oh, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Olvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. Feast table won't fill itself. itself. A good hunt, Beston. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I've been nothing but amused. They are a welcome change to warring yarls and piss-sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beston, the heart hound, who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. 
barely a bore worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ. What are your plans for Essex and your family? There is much that is new in this old fling. Alvida is changed. The girl I fell in love with lies behind years of hardship. And Elleridge? A soft lad, but with a heart as stout as his sister's. Their closeness does them both credit. The way he looks at me is often strange. His eyes furtive and downcast, like a hound waiting for his master's crop. It worries me, to be honest. Can I be both a brother to him and a love to his sister? Give him time, Beeston. He had his sister to himself all his life. Yes, yes. But tell me, Abel, did you succumb to my flighted bird's charms? She can turn one a-tremble with her eyes. You're talking of Estrid? Do not be coy. It does not suit you. Are you jealous, Beeston, after casting her aside? Of course not. I could not be happy. I only wondered. Hurry back, Beeston. I will join you later for the feast. Of course not. I could not be happier. I only wondered, for her sake. All that to say, I am only glad she has found a chance at happiness again. Lord knows I could not give her that. But these are grim thoughts, and I will not let them lay their cold grip upon me. Tonight, we feast and celebrate. I should not have been here for you.
home and hearth never used to stir the soul as the hunt did. But now my Alvider is... Oh, Bearston. You promised we would never be apart. Not for one waking or sleeping moment. And already you're sneaking out to hunt. Ha ha ha! For the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt. One that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet? A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that Lamish shadow play. Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still, his wife freshly stolen, and you are no more than... than his... I am the mother of his child, you whelp! Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never. <laughs> my lord, joyous news. God smiles upon us this very day. Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many times. Hush, Angel. Do not fret so. He hates me. What have I done? We must go after him. He will not stray far, Lamb. Much has been said this day, but if... if he is my son, our son, we must believe he will return to us. Are you leering at me, Lord? Your Bearstons, High Dane, do not think what you did went unseen. Yet tell me one thing. Is Estrid safe and happy? She's happy. That much I know. Good. Now leave. And if we meet again, you will fall by my sword. <sighs> Estrid should have ruled this land. I would have followed her anywhere. Estrid is so close to freedom. I hope I'm not too late.
Take me, Eivor. Our victories will all the gods themselves. Come, show me your valor in battle, and earn your place at the great table. Rolo! Alfred's men have found you! What? How can this be? Lark, stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. If she's taken, all is lost for us in Birsten. Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! Lark! Lark! Hold it! No! Release the woman, Danes! If she's on her... Estrid, I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. Frank here awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you, Eivor. When winter is past, summer will come and wind you in a flowered skirt. 
For you are beauty, and shall not wither. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will expect you in my hall. Good. They are safe. Beerston got his end of the bargain. And their street is to Frank here. I should return to Randley. Bring the masks Sing down. It, 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 it. Set the mast up. Yeah. Good stuff. Lends me strength. The Lord will see us through this.
over here.
Hey, come here a moment. Hey, fellas! you the ship.
Can't do this alone. Loot! Over here! Shit! Shit! 